Hey folks, it's Mad Rabbit. We are in uh, World of Warcraft today, looking at the uh, Dark Moon Fair. A little quick review of this new feature. Actually, it's an upgraded feature from the previous Dark Moon Fair and the f most recent patch, 4.3. And um, your best way to do and start off on this is to uh, go in your local, very close, usually very close to the auction house, is a person that, that will actually uh, give you this little quest here, get a little free turn in, <clears throat> take your Take yourself to the staging area because it gives you a quick teleport. And there's the entrance. What you would do is click on that portal. But before we do that, one thing you may want to make note of is grab yourself five flour from one of the cooking dailies in there from your local tradesman or uh, cooking vendor. And you just go right on in. Click, and then you go on in. You get a little achievement just for going in. Then all you do is just keep heading down the road, folks. Not too difficult to find it. It's pretty straight. Okay, and here we are in the Dark Moon Fair itself. First thing you might want to do is grab the uh, this girl here as you're coming in. There's other a couple other places that sell them, but you want to get game tokens in order to be able to do some of these mini games. I would grab the sack because you're probably going to need them. Go in there, open it up. It gives yourself some game tokens. You need those in order to take the rides. And as you see here, you'll see a number of dailies and um, actually some quests in here. But the quests are actually, I think they're repeatable, if I'm understanding correctly. Um, they're repeatable, like every time the Dark Moon Fair comes. So like you'll be able to do it once for the week that it, that it runs. So I'm going to do a quick turn in here to this fellow guy, this guy right here for that little quest they gave you. You will get a voucher and some Dark Moon Prize tickets. Those tickets are what are going to buy you just about eight, basically everything in the game. If you talk to some of these vendors here along the side, you will get various novelty items, um, non-combat pets, mounts, uh, replica items for transmogging. See here, uh, heirloom prizes from this guy here, two over here, replica armor prizes, more replica armor prizes, um, more along this side. So, and um, so. What you want to do is to obviously play these dailies every day to get more tickets, and they're all fairly easy to do. I will go over them one by one. Oh, I'm also going to go quickly show you um, just a little tidbit of the uh, profession ones that uh, you can also do. But they were not dailies, but they're they're pretty cool. They help you raise your skill by five points uh, so they're definitely worth doing and they do give you the tickets anyway so even if you are maxed out on the skill you should probably think about doing them let's do this one here the shooting game here grab the daily for it and this one is fairly easy you just click this to go in most of these are you just spam your you know your number one button and you look at the you shoot the one with the green arrow forms over the top just basically pivot your guy and press the one button you just keep doing that most of these games are designed in that uh, oh I got a quick shot that's one achievement most of these games are designed that you probably can't finish them in one go sometimes you have to do two or three goes on them but um, they're not very difficult at all I played all of them and I'm not really very good at some of these mini games but uh, as you see here this is fairly easy Okay, and we are back on our next one. This one's actually like a uh, cannoneer one. Grab that. You have to get accumulate five points, and uh, basically just boom, you get loaded in the cannon, shot off, and basically you just have to hit the, the your your button here right when you get over the target on the ground. It, you want to make sure you get close enough to it. Oh, see, and I overshot it. Um. And you will get points usually the closer you are to the center of that target. And right here is a fella who will actually teleport you right back, right back there. Say, so teleport me to the cannon. 30 silver, of course, but uh, it's definitely worth it rather than walking back. And you just keep doing this until you get your five points and you turn in with her. Okay, we're on to our next one now. Another fairly easy one called Whack a Knoll. If I remember, that's the name of it. Yes. Whack a Knoll, grab the daily. And it's all really fairly easy. Basically, you whack anything that pops out of these barrels over here, 
except for the babies that pop out. If you pop on them, I guess you get in a little bit of trouble, you get stunned or something. See, that's the baby there. You don't want to, don't want to hit the baby. Okay, we're back. Tonk Commander this time. And Tonk, it's all fairly easy. I don't even bother to use the second button. But the first button, I can do is hit the targets here on the ground. It's fairly easy. I mean, I believe me, it is very easy. Uh, yeah, there you go. Okay, and here's another one, another quest. This is actually not a uh, a daily, but this is you could almost call this a one of the ones you'll be able to repeat probably every time the Dark Moon Fair comes to your town once a month. But uh, it's a quest. Basically, you take this. Okay, you accept that. And it says you need 250 grizzly trophies. So what you basically have to have here, and let me just see if I got it. Yes, I do. The Dark Moon Fair uh, Adventures Guide. You need that in your inventory in order to be able to collect the tickets from killing things. And you only get, as long as you kill 250 things that uh, give you experience or honor, that puts point, like a point towards it. So it's good to grab it early in the week for the Dark Moon Fair, and then do your whatever you're questing. And, you know, if you're doing dailies or whatever, or raiding or dungeons, and hopefully you get 250 towards the end of the week. Otherwise, you might have to grind a little bit out. And here is the next one, Cooking Vendor. He gives you a couple. This one here, he gives you two. One for the cooking, gives you a plus five cooking and the tickets. So even if you're maxed in cooking, might want to consider doing this anyway, just for the ticket's sake. Plus, you will get some, as you see here, you do get uh, some money for it, too. So it's not too bad. That's why I wanted you to bring the, uh, what was that, the uh, Simple Flower at the beginning. Because you will be using that for that one. The Sea Dog one, basically fishing up three, th uh, let's see, five different sea herring things over on the coast here. Um, yeah, you may want to remember to bring your fishing pole, but you don't necessarily need to bring it. These things come up doesn't matter what your fishing level is, and you can buy a fishing rod right from the coast there. It's really super cheap. So what you do, as long as you have that simple flower, see I just basically use the quest item, and you toss the five in. Otherwise you're gonna have to leave the Dark Moon Fair and um, go get your dark your uh, go get your uh, stuff. So I'll turn that one in now. I'm gonna go fishing. I will just show you really quickly the fishing. Okay, so as we approach the docks, just want to make note that you can teleport back to your home city right here on the docks. You know, obviously Elwyn Forest and the other one for wherever Ogre Mars is. Probably outside the city, I assume. I'm playing on the Alliance. This guy here, is it? No, it's not this guy. It's this girl here. Just buy yourself a fishing pole. Even if you're level 1 fishing, this works pretty easily. You're almost going to just do 5 casts and you're going to get it. Not difficult at all. Yeah, if you want to go right here, you know, ride the little ponies around too, miniature ponies, and you get the achievement for it too. To then actually make these things for gnomes or something it looks a little awkward having my elf on here. Wee! Going to our little ring toss now. Fairly simple game, or at least you would think it would be. Can be a little bit frustrating. Click one, throw it on the thing. Obviously, the turtle's going to keep moving on you. You have to do some anticipation. You just have so many uh, rings to toss. As you see, it's hard to see in my UI here. It kind of gets lost, but it uh, doesn't so much matter how many other people are playing on this one. I got three rather quickly there. That's pretty good. I'm doing this fella here, which is putting the trash to good use. Aha. See, now, because I happen to be a, an enchanter, this is my profession now. You are going to have certain ones that are available to you based upon what professions you've picked. So even the gathering ones have their one. And basically you're going to get a plus five in your skill and tickets. And most of them are fairly easy. I did notice the uh, tailoring and the leatherworking ones actually require you probably to go back to the uh, your home city or to go someplace and grab uh, some really cheap, super simple to find uh, you know items to make certain things but um, basically what you're just gonna do with the enchanting one and a lot of the other ones too as you'll see here, there's items on the ground now um, 
herbalism would do like some of these flowers gathering the, the, the gem guys um, jewel crafters look for the gems in the ground now in my case because I'm an en enchanter I'm looking for certain items on the ground to disenchant so you see here there's one you just click the items they're just scattered around the whole dark fair um, dark moon fair zone it's just, so most of your quests are going to be that you know or whatever as you see here um, this little guy is running around he used to be in the old version you're going to get a wood frog box which seemed to have a limited supply or tree frog box uh, I was only able to grab one of those so that's pretty cool and uh, while I'm doing that hold on here this messed up okay so you got two companions you can grab right off the bat pretty much and I'm going to also grab this for herbalism basically the same sort of thing where you're gathering uh, the herbs off the ground and this one here putting the carnies back together another fairly simple one where you use a quest item on some injured carnies yeah foolish me I didn't notice like right before you uh, right in the same area are actually some injured carnies so the guy that actually gives you the quest is right here and the injured carnies right here so <laughs> you actually don't need to go to cross the uh, the way <laughs> so sorry so I'm gonna wrap this up so that's basically what you have to remember is come back every day of that week to do your dailies to get a couple more some more tickets uh, finish off your test of strength by you know obviously doing dailies or whatnot just to get the number of kills in and um, remembering to do it at the beginning of every month uh, always the first week of every month trying to get your particularly to get in these uh, profession ones out of the way they're very good very good for leveling up your professions quickly all right, well, thanks, you guys, folks, for watching, and um, hope this helped you out. We'll catch you next time. Adios.